we call Ghostbusters? Uh, I mean, seriously, who do we call? Well, Ghostbusters can't help with a busted pipe flooding a local condo complex, but 13 Action News can. 24 hours after we called, that issue was fixed, and 13 Action News reporter Tom George is getting answers. You can still see some of the water built up. For the better part of the last two days, this entire parking lot was flooded. Today, it's finally fixed, but that didn't come fast enough for many of the people who live here. Stay. Good boy, come. Steve Levine's morning walk with his dog Buck, a lot drier today. Just yesterday, their usual route running through the parking lot, a gushing river. What started as a damaged pipe above ground attached below ground, causing water to seep up. It's really bad in the back there, near the dumpster. It got so bad, the rising water almost reaching people's doorsteps. My elderly lady and I don't want to fall. By no means. They say what's worse, their condo managers weren't answering the phone. Who do we call Ghostbusters? Uh, I mean, seriously, who do we call? Right, right, yeah, for sure. The answer, as it turns out, not the water district. They tell us since the condos are privately owned, it's up to the owners to fix the leak. That can require the owner calling the district to shut off the water, something that can be a tricky balancing act. We're talking about impacting hundreds or thousands of customers. So a lot of times they have to weigh the balance of those customers being without water at all for a long or extended period of time or letting the leak continue. In this case, that's what they had to do. The leak continued for two nights until the condo was able to get someone in this morning to fix the leak. They say they were made aware of it yesterday, but couldn't get crews in until this morning. Neighbors glad it's fixed, but say they cut it a little too close. So this is something that really should have been uh, taken care of a little bit quicker than it was. Now again, the Homeowners Association says that their best policy is to have residents call their emergency maintenance line when something like this happens. They say if you don't have that number, you can call their main office to get that number. Reporting near Buffalo and Summerlin Parkway, Tom George, 13 Action News.